So all right. So moving on to our next prospect, um, Eric Gray, Oklahoma running back, five foot nine, two hundred seven pounds, nine and three quarter inch hands. Uh, there's no forty time or anything like that. He had a hundred eighteen inch broad jump, thirty seven and a half inch vert. He is twenty three right now. He'll be twenty four when the season comes around in November anyway. Um, last year at Oklahoma, he played 12 games, 213 rushing attempts, 1,366 yards, uh, 11 touchdowns, 33 receptions, 229 yards, and no additional touchdowns. So with Eric Gray, he was a pretty highly thought of prospect uh, coming out of high school. Ended up going to Tennessee. He was there at the same time. If you guys remember Ty Chandler last year. Yep. They were kind of this like two-headed monster at Tennessee, but Tennessee was just hot garbage. Mm-hmm. And they basically both transferred the same year and just like, give me, a, and cause originally I thought only one of them was going to transfer, which was great news for the other one. Cause they would get the backfield of themselves. They both clearly just wanted out, wanted, you know, fresh opportunity. And I really thought Oklahoma was going to be a great situation for Eric Gray. We were going to see what happened with, um, oh, there was a guy that transferred that. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but either way, I thought it was going to be a great landing spot and we're going to see great things. His first year at Oklahoma was a great disappointment. Did not play well at all. The numbers were pretty putrid. Came back this year, put together a much better season, much more, uh, much more closely to what we saw at Tennessee. That being said, I, I have a 68.7 grade for Eric Gray. So not a terrible grade, but not a great grade either. He went to the senior bowl this year, did some nice things, but there's not a single area in here where I look at him and I'm like, this is specifically how he wins consistently. Mm-hmm. I think he does have some decent power. I think he does have some decent contact balance. But he's not a guy with a ton of juice. Uh, he's not a guy that's like an incredible receiving back or uh, a guy that's like, oh, his vision is just special. He just sees the hole and just has a great feel or does amazing things at the second level. It's just, there's a lot of fineness, a lot of meh. I have a lot of pretty goods yeah. in my descriptions. But but it's, nothing great. And so he, he yeah. reminds me of a guy that is probably going to be in the NFL for a long time, but never necessarily fantasy relevant. I came away watching Eric Gray, not very impressed. Okay. okay. Um, you know, this is for let's start with the biggest dynasty negative here. His age. This is yep. for one, this guy's got a lot of tread on his tires. He'll be twenty four years old when the season is going on, so he's older. Um you know, I'm just going right into the negatives. I mean, his yards per carry is not good at all. And what's really disappointing about that, too, is like he saw a lot of light boxes, like a lot of light boxes. Yards per carry, 6.4. I know, but like for like for like how light the boxes were, like I just expected for somebody okay. of his caliber. Like, again, so the way I saw that, I was like, oh, Oklahoma's offense, you know, like Big 12 defenses against him. Big 12, yeah. The, the Big 12 defense basically just. I th- the reason I felt like he averaged 6.4 yards per carry is because they didn't respect the run whatsoever in Oklahoma. That's what I came in with. Let me, that's a better way to put it. That's okay. Fair. That's, um, that's fine. Yep. Not Garrett, not, not very explosive at all. Not a lot of power, no long speed. I thought he was, I thought he was solid in the passing game. That was like my favorite attribute of him. It's like, Oh, he's pretty solid in the passing game. Um, I like his hips. Like he made some pretty good cuts there, but I like laterally his lateral movement yeah. was probably his best attribute. That literally my two things. I like this passing game and his, his lateral agility. Yeah. And that, but that's literally it. There's, there's nothing there on the tape that I saw. I was like, okay, this is a dynasty asset. Like, this is somebody that's going to really like. I'm okay with like Garrett's take here. Like, this is somebody who can play in the NFL level, be there for a while. But like, he's never like. I don't see him turning in anything that's going to be an asset for my dynasty team. He's probably the guy I want the draft if he's the backup to my running back. That that's make, right. I mean, that that makes sense. I, I there there's a guy there's. He has enough speed, you know, to be yeah, an NFL yeah. back. He's got enough burst to do some things. He, I think, plays. He wants to be physical. He just doesn't, doesn't maybe have, have it, the man. doesn't have the uh, it, doesn't have maybe the meat or. I mean, he's two hundred seven. He's not like light. I, it's a shell. It, again, so he's not afraid of contact. How about that? He's not afraid yeah. of contact, but he but he's not like he's not a powerful. bruiser. Well, he's not a big and, bruiser. But let me back yep. up too. Like this, this is so. I want to reiterate that, like when we talk about these players, we're always talking from also a dynasty fantasy football perspective, right? This right. is we're not we're not NFL draft 
We're here to talk NFL right. draft. We're here to talk about dynasty fantasy football. Like, what are the best players for your team? So, like, if you're new to the show, that when we're breaking down these players and stuff, that's that's the angle we're coming from, right? Correct. Like, that's what we want. That's the only reason we're talking about mm-hmm. these players. So, for me, when I look at Eric Gray, the the shelf life is short, so short. Like, he's not that big of a guy. Like, he's only five foot nine and a half. You know, he's not that big it's of a guy. Pretty common he, in this he, draft, he, though. It is. It is. He's twenty four years old, so he's. He's a one contract guy, like you said for a while. Like he's a one contract guy. Yep. That's it. Like mm-hmm. he's gonna get his. If, at best, he gets his four years, and he's twenty eight, and he's out of the league. So sure. like, there's a, there's no chance for him like for longevity here. So for me, he's only really useful to the team that he's like a backup running back on. Like when you're like in a fourth or fifth round, and you're like, okay, like he went to, he went to um, the Cowboys. That's a bad example because of Tony Pollard, but like. He went to um, the Colts, and he's going to back up Jonathan Taylor. I got Jonathan Taylor. Like, Eric Gray's going to be a good – you know, like he does a lot of things like sure. – so, like, he's solid, if, you know? If, if Taylor missed two games, I could put him in my starting lineup and, yeah. and get double-digit points. Get yes. some points. He, exactly. can, he can do that for you. But from a dynasty perspective, there's no long-term value here. There's nothing exciting about him whatsoever. Mm-hmm. Like, he's not an exciting prospect. So He's probably older than Jonathan Taylor. <laughs> he probably is he older than Jonathan Taylor. I, mean, I think he to is. To be honest. No, he really is. Yeah. So that's why, like, when I say, like, he's not very exciting to me whatsoever because there's no dynasty. So when I say that about him, like, I don't think he's the worst running back in the world. But he's – he. To me, from a dynasty perspective, like he doesn't bring anything to the table for me that I'm excited about. I would rather just go gamble elsewhere hmm? uh, for the upside. On an upside play. Because even if he does hit, you're not going to trade him for much because he, he has such a short love, shelf life. And you won't even be able to use him if he if he comes in very long. So there's not a whole lot of value for me. I'm with you there, man. I, I, I feel very similar, Eric Gray. Okay. Unfortunately, he's not... 21 because I feel like if he was 21 coming into the league Different. with some of the things that he's got going on, maybe he could develop. Yes. But and as a 23, almost 24 year old, you're physically developed. You know what I mean? Like right. you're not going to get much right. faster. You're not going to get much bigger. Exactly. That's kind of your body. Um, so um, that's why I want to say it like that because I don't want to say you're like, he's not, I don't want to make it sound like, Oh, Eric Gray is the worst running. Like he's not. It's no, just, there's definitely some worse running backs. We've but, covered. Yeah. So from a dynasty aspect, they're like, Oh this my God! I don't want to do we're this. Gonna guy. Cover. Oh, we're, yeah. we're getting really close. We're getting really close to some bad ones here. But that, I just want to make sure, like when I talk about him, like I don't think he's when you said like his yards per carry, like they're okay for the system he played in. I thought he should have done better for like again for how old and old he is. Like he yeah. should have done better. I agree. Yeah. So that's absolutely. It for me. 